What's going on, everyone? My name is Dom, and this is Completing the Circuit Podcast, Episode 6. And somehow a miracle has happened, and we have both Kyle and Sam here today. Huh? Hello, everybody. And, of course, we have the usual Joey as well. So, Hello. this was a busy week, wasn't it, guys? Yeah, a lot of stuff came out. The uh, Samsung event, and now today's PlayStation State of Play. Yeah, it was. It, it, so, we got, we got lots to talk about. We're probably going to focus more on the PlayStation stuff today, but uh, we're going to kick things off with giving Joey uh, a new news segment. Uh, you guys seem to really like his... A shopping cart video on Amazon. I don't blame them. Or on YouTube. <laughs> I, I told them. I told you when we first started this, I was the A-list guy. So. You know what? And you're slowly starting to prove that. So, Joey on the news. <laughs> Joey's right. going to run the news. And what do you got for us? All right. So first thing I have is uh, Twitter is adding labels to state-backed media and government accounts. So that is going to be doing. What that means is that um, you will now be able to tell who is part, basically a government worker. Okay. So uh, they're, what Twitter wants to do is they're making it easier for users to identify official government accounts in state affiliated media. So they're going to have, uh, they're going to be adding labels to accounts representing government officials and state backed media. Um, so that's like the blue check mark, but maybe a bit more specified. Yes. So they're, they're starting with accounts. Um, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but it, it, they're starting with accounts of key government officials. Um, including foreign ministers, uh, institutional entities, ambassadors, official spokespeople, and key diplomatic leaders. And uh, that focus is on se um, senior officials and entities who are the official voice of the state abroad. Hmm. So, and then what they're also doing, uh, <clears throat> the labels will only cover, they're going to be doing some out of the country as well. But they're going to only be covering so far uh, officials from the us, of course, UK, Russia, China, and France. But it's plans. They're planning on expanding that feature. Interesting. Is this in response to the the Twitter hack? Or I don't. I I, I, I doubt it's. I it's, doubt it's to respond to the Twitter hack. I think it's yeah. more just like verification of uh, fact because misinformation out there about the dangers of COVID, for instance, are far more. Uh, immediate than like <laughs> I'm gonna right, give right, me right. give me money for thirty yeah, give minutes. Give me Bitcoin. <laughs> me yeah. want the Bitcoin. Okay. So that and that's also a, that's a nice thing too for people to be able to. So once see. they do that, the next step then would be able to say, okay, since this is a government account, uh, we expect them to have only truthful stuff, and then they'd be able to maybe check or take down stuff or truthful. or relabel. Things like mm, there was that one, uh, which was like uh, they had like a little parentheses at the bottom of somebody's statement, uh, where it's like this may not actually be true. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> you may remember want to uh, do some more research into this. Yeah, we can't verify that this <laughs> yeah. verified account. Right. These facts are verified. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so that was um, that was on engadget.com, and uh, that was by uh, Carissa Bell, and you can follow her at Carissa uh, B E on Twitter. Uh, so moving on to another one from Engadget, who this is by Chris Holt, and you can follow him at, at Chris Holt on Twitter. And this is talking about, um, sorry, one second. Uh, this is talking about that today the Mac OS Big Sur public beta is now available. Oh, they finally released it? Yes. So no way. you can now download it as of today and have the public beta on your Mac. Yeah, you've had the beta since launch, right? And how, yeah. How, yeah, that's right. How long? How has that been working for you? I haven't had any. I don't have any complaints. It's had no issues. Um, I actually down, had an upgrade or update today, so I'm guessing that's now on my computer is on the public beta now. Mm -hmm. So, but I haven't had issues with my Mac. My phone, on the other hand, had, and you've seen it too. Yeah. Where there's been glitches here and there, but the the computer, no, nothing. Wow, that's a, okay. Well, you know what? Uh, how are you still? Are you, do you still like the icons as much as? Uh... <laughs> as much as you said on the that was episode one right i believe so yeah 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 so so since then that was like six weeks wow that's kind of crazy when you think about me doing this for six weeks so since then what, what's been your what, what's been your feelings i still like yeah i like it i also like the fact that you can do what they were talking about you know you have the side but you have you can do widgets and stuff like that as well and, okay you know i think that's a pretty cool idea um and it runs smooth Hey, okay. that's all you can ask for right right <laughs> So, but yeah, so you can download it as, uh, as of today and 
if you don't do it today, you can do it tomorrow or the next day. And good you luck. Like but what happens after that? <laughs> then the official one comes out. <gasps> in, in four days. You heard it here from Joe. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to get that thing on Twitter that says, you might want to check <laughs> That's this out. Yeah. <laughs> Beware. That's why I'm never going to be verified. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so, um, and then uh, my next one is another, just so you guys know, it's all Engadget here. So if you hear me say Engadget, Engadget is just because they have a lot of news this uh, today. Uh, Microsoft, uh, and this is by, sorry, uh, John Fingus, and you can uh, actually follow him at John Fingus on Twitter. And this is um, about Microsoft reportedly considers buying all of TikTok. I've yeah, heard, I heard that. Yeah, I've been hearing this all over the place. So um, they're... It's whether or not it can get a deal done in time is is another issue, but they are in talks of buying all of TikTok. Um, and I'm trying to think of this. So get a deal in time for blank. Well, it just they it it was just talking. It just had this underneath the title. Mm. It just said whether or not it can get a deal done in time is another matter. Yeah. So basically, what they're saying is Microsoft is can do it and probably will do it. But if they don't do if it's whether they'll do it in time or not. But yeah, I think there's a deadline because for... it's like a Trump administration thing. They're they're well, we don't know if he can legally do that, but he the can't. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna cancel AT and T. Um, how do you? I mean, yeah, sure, TikTok might not be as big, uh, but it's got a huge fan base. It does, yeah. and it's it, what guilty. First Amendment right. No, <laughs> you have the right guilty to say for what sure. you want. TikTok is my uh, guilty TikTok. pleasure. <laughs> I like to tic tac at night. He's got an accent in the morning. Okay. And, so, and supper. And, and supper. So, you knew where I was going yep. with that. I messed it up. You know. <laughs> so going back. Um, so yeah, talking about TikTok, as we all know and have been hearing about President Trump uh, saying that he considers it a threat as long as Chinese ownership. That there is Chinese ownership. Mm -hmm. Um, and that has and there's been suggestion that that it would be easier to buy the entire company than part of it uh so what would happen if president trump uh redu it would if he banned it it'd be 100 million users cut off wow there's that many people that use tiktok uh, tiktok sure huge. man well wow, we're huge about um so it's it's not a guarantee that the purchase of this size or even the narrowly defined uh, one from before will go through, but um, the bigger challenge uh, may be to complete the separation from Bike Dance on time. Mm -hmm. So it that that's huge. Uh, Microsoft might be able to get in that, getting into that. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, I wonder if Microsoft, because I think I I heard yeah. Apple did and didn't want to buy it, but so Amazon hasn't made a bid, from what I understand. Google hasn't made a bid, from what I understand. Uh, who there was four of them that sit in front of Congress. Oh, Facebook, right. which I, I would imagine Facebook would want to. I don't want Facebook taking my Tic Tac. <laughs> well, I, I heard someone talking about that. They think it could be related to the antitrust thing because of the big tech companies. Microsoft was the one that wasn't in front of Congress during that whole thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know if there's a correlation there, but it just seems interesting that Facebook would be all. I mean, they bought they tried to buy Snapchat and they bought Instagram. Right. So, and didn't they? I'm sure they bought so many others that we've already forgotten about by now. I mean, Oculus Rift, but that's not social media, and they right. and they, they suck at it. But yeah, yeah, I'm just no, not <laughs> agreeing with that. Um, um so um, another article. Uh, this is by uh, Chris Holt. Final well, hand. Oh, wait, go real ahead. quick. I'm sorry. What would a Microsoft TikTok look like? Right now, it's just like Snapchat, isn't it? Where you can record a video and post it. They probably would keep. My guess is they're going to probably keep the same interface how it is. Just because users are now accustomed to how it is. But what could they then integrate it into? Like, hey, Cortana. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they might hey, Cortana, even make a Skype yeah. call from TikTok. They probably might make a uh, where I don't know if you can do this. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. Can you actually download an app on your computer? Yeah. A TikTok app? TikTok app. I'm know. sure you could. Is... Or if you can't now, you will be able to. That's what I'm saying. If, if you can't now, yeah. with Microsoft, I'm sure they'll and make it where you can do it on your computer yeah i mean you can do the uh minecraft app you yeah. know what i'm saying so yeah skype app oh, same thing fair enough yeah right fair enough so Just, i i don't like i said i don't know if you can now but if yeah. someone wants to but it's a primarily phone based 
half, isn't it? So it is, but yeah. if you can do it on a computer as well, which you're going to get better, you could most likely get better video quality. A lot of people download it. Hmm. Cool. The more platforms are better, right? I, guess. I mean, yeah. as long yeah. as Facebook doesn't take it over, because they've already inundated all of the Facebook videos with ads, and I can't even get through a whole video without watching, you know, three ads about four games that I'm never going to play. Right. So I could just see that trending with TikTok, where I think there are minute long videos. So you're mm-hmm. going to throw an ad in between a minute long video. <laughs> You know, just three minutes, kind of take three the, ads. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. You know. Yeah. No, I hope. I, I would honestly like to just see it become its own independent company instead of more. Sure. You know, like this this whole antitrust thing. I mean, Amazon is huge, and we all know about my dire. I don't know what you'd call it for Jeff Bezos, but you love him. Loathing. No. Yeah. No, but I keep buying stuff from him. And I don't know <laughs> why. So. <laughs> It's in the blood now. I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't want to, eventually I think it's going to get to a point where a company is going to screw up even more than the ones that already like were in that con- like that congressional hearing. They're going to screw up more than they already have. And then something big is going to happen and they're going to start dividing these companies up. And then things that we've come to know and love are going to be shredded up. Facebook, I don't care. Let them, let them cut that up. Yeah. I, I, I dropped Facebook a long time ago, but I mean, leave <laughs> that, Apple alone. Yeah. I found that out like six months after you dropped Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> that was six months and 120 videos with no response. Oh, so, were you God. spamming my Facebook chat? Oh, gosh, I wouldn't say spamming. I was sending you good content that you weren't responding to. I thought it was something with me. Oh, no, I just I just deleted the apps. I was just getting tired of the note. I would turn off notifications about like, all I wanted to know is, did somebody comment about on something I did? Somebody mentioned me, those like how Facebook used to be. And then it would be like, this person who's this person's friend's mother posted. Had a birthday yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, so in other words, if it's not about Dom, it's exactly the app. that's exactly correct. Back um, in my day, Facebook was about comparing two like women and seeing which one was better. That's hot or not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, for all the Doom uh, like lovers out there with the game, Kyle, you mm-hmm. sound like one of them. Yeah. Doom uh, Internal is getting a free next gen update or upgrade. So. You oh, right on. It. So if you have it on the Xbox One, you can get on the Xbox Series X. Yes, sir. Right away. Yeah. yeah so all right. Don't have to worry about that. And then. Um, but now, can you get it on Minecraft? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> can I play Crisis? Yeah, you, yeah, that's next. You can actually play Doom on Minecraft now. I can't. I, <laughs> then, oh, my. That needs an episode in and of itself. <laughs> and then my last article this is, um, by the way, that article was by Chris Holt. You can follow them at, at Chris Holt. Um, and then my last article um, is from John Fingus again. Uh, this is about Amazon Echo um, is now, or Amazon now offers a smart clock add-on for the Echo Flex. So what that is going to do is now you can see, one, you can see the clock instead of asking Alexa what time it is. And then you can also see the timer. So you set timers on it and you can ask, uh, instead of asking Am- or Alexa, how much time is left? You can see it per- you're with your eyes now. I, l- I like that. Uh, you just upgrade your Amazon device to be an old school clock. <laughs> exactly. Brilliant. Yeah. Microwave. Wait, wait, wait. But now, microwave. Can you attach it? Oh, no. I touched my microwave. <laughs> can you attach it to a, a, a chain and put it on your pocket and then just whip out your Amazon? Well, I mean, <laughs> <A> circle. <laughs> I keep calling it the Amazon. It's like it's an echo. I know that. I mean, the way it looks is it looks like this. It's so, like thermostat. What in the world is that? Yeah, that is. That's a thermostat. <laughs> that is not something I expected out of that. Looks like twenty. Does there wait. scent that comes out of that thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spray lavender essential minutes. oils. <laughs> yes. Hold on, hold on. Let me see that again. So it's Ma- not just like autumn. I was literally thinking it was like a, maybe a a piece of tape almost that you can stick on the side of your Echo, <laughs> and it would kind of be like a, a clear display that just shows numbers for time yeah that, that's but i'm that gonna say that's incredibly stupid whole... it's like a carbon monoxide alarm yeah, <laughs> yeah. honestly it takes up a whole uh outlet spot yeah you that's... can't you can't even just single spot that that thing better have at least a usb port cause... it does it does just say it, it's it, not because it does say just anything it, yeah. it does that say is a that... flex like <laughs> i don't even need any um, ports it's a it is a usb accessory okay so that's the thing. So that, you can plug your phone into it and charge your phone. No, no, no. This, this. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing the timer is the USB accessory. It plugs into USB. Exactly. So then, Got wait it. a second. So okay. So the phone. So that thing plugs into. So what it? Plugs yeah. So what? So what they were saying has that. Um, 
<laughs> so it's saying the USB accessory will show the current time, of course. Uh, so yeah, it's the it is the timer part is the USB accessory. That's weird. Okay, that I would have to see a video of how that thing works. I'm I'm totally confused as to how the hell that thing is an Echo Pro. And, 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 and guys, just in, in case you also had a question, it does show 12 and 24 hour format. Oh, oh my god! Mm. Yeah, ordering oh. Bezos, you win. What Cutting about? edge. What Cutting about? edge. And that is it for the news. Okay. <laughs> Kyle, why'd you awesome. gonna say that thing about my okay? Well, well that's implied. <laughs> I'm not even talking about the point. Okay. <laughs> so we all saw the state. <laughs> yeah, we can't did. Even focus that. We all saw the state of play today. What did okay. we think? Okay. What did we all saw the state of play today? Ah, uh, yes, we did. And I will say what I said about the Xbox. It sucked. <laughs> It you sucked. Did, you didn't say it as angrily, though. <laughs> no, but it, you know what's the point? Because these game industries are just not listening. It sucked. So for those of you who actually liked it, kind of <laughs> like I did, I'm the opposing view. I liked a few things from it, too. The Hitman thing was cool. Yeah, the there Hitman was a thing few was things I liked, but it still sucked. All right, let's get uh, dive into it. So yes. first of all, I want to talk about the overall state of play. Uh, the first... 35 minutes of it was just empty. I feel like maybe they had something going on behind the scenes. Maybe they had something that they needed to take out last minute. Uh, but obviously we have no idea. Uh, just sort of a fun idea about what's going wrong in <laughs> Sony world. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I, I jumped in like right when it started, but apparently Sam, you were telling me a story earlier about. Yeah, I jumped in about a minute before it started. I watched that loop about 45 times. And I, I didn't have enough patience going into the actual state of show because I watched well, over and over again the PlayStation state of show, PlayStation state of show. And then all of a sudden it was boop. I was like, it's over. You know, yeah. you know exactly. like, I, I, cool. I you know, and too. then just a, a random video comes up and I'm watching Crash Bandicoot. Like, am I on the right link here? I don't know if this is what it is. Like, no intro. No, hey, welcome to the PlayStation state of show or. You know, hey, when when Xbox did it, you knew that they were drawing you in with that that reconstruction yeah. of you know the the, the arm, um, but it was just it started off fast, I guess. I don't, I don't know, maybe that's what they, they wanted to catch you with Crash Crash Bandicoot. I think right? that's a thing oh, that State of Play does. I don't remember last year. I remember it, the other State of Play I used to get really excited for, but I don't quite remember. It's the insta load thing. It's the that who? insta load, you know, because the PlayStation Five can instantly load games, so they oh, just started off with a game because it go. instantly loads the whole bunch of fun mm, games. Interesting it thought. Basically, yeah. was I mean, the Hitman VR thing was cool. That was sweet. There yeah. was the sound, that so it sweet. was the orange off light, and then it turned blue and had a ping. Yeah, that PlayStation does. Yeah. yeah, maybe maybe during the multiple loops they were like indoctrinating you with something. <laughs> you just wake oh, up. Yep. Oh, I'm reading Russian. No, they Wait, couldn't no. get the PlayStation to turn on. That's why multiple <laughs> loops. Well, at least they ran it on a PlayStation. Well, so, yeah, so right. we assume. So, you know, the other thing, too, which uh, I have a, a story here, and I know I sent this to you guys like later in the week this week, but the whole thing of the PS5 rumors that that was supposed to be the big announcement, they were going to announce the release date. And <laughs> so I got this here from uh, Sid Schumann over at the PlayStation.blog. Or no, blog.playstation.com, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so apparently, long story short, uh, who is this guy? This is the uh, content, uh, senior director for Sony uh, Content Communications, right? And in essence, he was, he, he released this letter saying uh, that this event will not have any PS5 stuff. And the reason that he did that was because he apparently got a notice that people were <laughs> going and standing in line at stores getting ready to do pre-orders. So they had to put out this notice because, well, obviously that wasn't true. So they literally like straight up said, which brought down my expectations. Obviously, it was like kind of a like a low blow. But I, I could only imagine if he didn't do this, how disappointed people would have been to see like no PS5 stuff. I mean, we saw like a few games. At least we saw gameplay. I guess. In the state of play today, yeah, we saw. Let's see, one, two. Uh, I counted them actually. Uh, three, four games that were on PS5. That uh, oh, and Godfall is that one PS5? I, Chances are they'll probably all get PS5 version. Yeah, Godfall is PS5. All right, so then five, and then you're thinking maybe some backwards compatibility later down the road for PS5. I don't know. I just I want to see. I want to see the UI. I want to see. I want to know when the when the hell this thing is going to get like become available. I mean, we get it right. We we know the specs for both consoles. 
I, I don't know. I, the, it's it's a waiting game. Honestly, it's between Xbox. It, it, who's going to make the first move? It's mm-hmm. a chess game. Yeah. That's what it is. So it's who who's going to make the first move? Who's going to make the first announcement? Since Xbox did it, now PlayStation's like, oh, well, we'll hold back too. And you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a game of chicken. They're yeah. just waiting to see who's going to announce the price first. Like yeah. I said, they have that window of prices. Who's going to blink? I, I don't know. It's, it's getting annoying now because, I mean, holiday of, 26, of 2020 usually means that November time region. Yeah. Right. right. It has to be. I'm get, we'll make it, it the first week of December. Yeah. It's going to be a thing where it's going to be before Thanksgiving. And it's going to be it because Black Friday. Yeah. Right, but they're not going to have the deals, of course, for those consoles. No. but Black Friday, it's going to Black Friday is a big deal. People are out buying, so well, supposedly this year's Black Friday is not going to be very good because of all the COVID stuff. But we'll see. I mean, online shopping, Amazon, Fair enough. Amazon Black Friday. Oh my god! Oh yeah, wow. oh yeah, they're going to kill it. Everyone else will be buying stuff on moly. no more Cyber Monday. It's just gonna... You guys want to oh. rent a truck? Dang, <laughs> yeah, it's just patrol the blocks. You know, wait for everybody's packages. That is the most out. emotion I've ever seen you display, by the way. Wow. <laughs> Could you imagine? Okay, so Black Friday, uh, one day or two day mm. shipping, perhaps. So on Monday or Tuesday after, because obviously you can't, you're not going to ship on the weekends for Amazon or yes, yes. I don't know. I, I, don't. I don't ship much. So uh, all of the trucks are going to be out <laughs> delivering. So how many can we have? Hijack our stuff. No. <laughs> we, gotta get, we gotta get masks. Oh wait, <laughs> we have COVID. we have masks. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, we'll take that offline. <laughs> we, will, we, we might have to. Well, editor, <laughs> editor, <laughs> <Another editor's> right. <laughs> No, but uh, let's actually dive into each one of these. Do you want to talk about Crash Four, uh, well, Sam? Uh, there was one thing that stood out for me, and it was the comment that the guy, uh, whoever it was, I don't think he introduced himself. It was just some, you know, voice off in the distance that was describing this uh, gameplay. And he said that there was going to be no, I think he said, what is it, the TMX or MTX, the microtransactions? Yes. Oh, that, yeah. On Crash there World? was a couple that said that, that, that we're not going to do. That gentleman my... listened to our podcast, episode four, and he listened to my <laughs> moans and groans <laughs> about paying to win. He saw and... the clip. I think your clip has like two views. So he saw, he must have saw the clip. Yeah, he saw my, he, it was him and myself that saw it. So <laughs> um, I, you know what, kudos. I've never played Crash Bandicoot. I don't think I ever will. But hey, way to go. I mean, I'm excited for a world. Of, uh, I think the micro, the no microtransaction thing is turning out to be more of a uh, like a business asset now. People are looking for. I think everyone's kind of in the same boat. We're tired of getting nickel and dime. And the one guy for Godfall, he literally said, "Yeah, here's the whole game, no microtransaction, right out of the get go." That's what the only way to get stuff is by earning it in the yeah. game. Yeah, old oh, school. I mean, what can you buy to make you better in Crash Bandicoot though? <laughs> yeah, honestly. No, so, so I mean, like it, 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 they give you a little bit of what you want, but realistically, what would they add there? Like. You can play as purple Crash Bandicoot or, or green Crash Bandicoot. You know, it, TikTok it doesn't make game. sense. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's actually cool because the replayability was built in. They can change the levels. You know, they had that inverted mode or or like underwater mode or, or throwing color around mode. You can run on Well, walls. yeah, but I mean, the, the whole pay to play thing is like bragging rights. You know, you've got a different skin than somebody else has. And it's a single player game, right? Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I mean, you could take pictures and send it to your friends on Tic Tac, but you know, like what? <laughs> what, get what good does that do? More and more a on that second syllable. Uh, do, doesn't Kelly like Crash? Bandicoot? I was about to say, yeah. my, I know she's going to be excited. So you're going to buy that, but not for you. <laughs> Correct. It's, it's going to be a way of me saying I bought a PlayStation Five before you get pissed off at me. Here's the game that you like. Yeah, no, save it. <laughs> just keep it in the back of your car for when you screw up, and then just. <laughs> Look what I got you. I'm going to need it that night. Trust me. <laughs> Get all of the jams. There was like a, I, I think it was an indie that looked kind of fun. It was like Spelunker 2 or something. Oh, yeah. We'll like. get there. Spelunky 2. Spelunky yeah. 2. Oh, so, wait. Didn't they have Braid 2? Kyle, don't yep, you like so that game? After Crash was Hitman VR. I. You can play the awesome. whole trilogy in VR. I am super. I'm actually. The, the cutaway mo- right before the garrote. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the VR has a little, the little, jo- <laughs> the little joystick thing. So, you could do basically everything that is you want to do no Here i mean go. talk about stress relief this is, talk about stress relief. <laughs> oh yeah <real>. actually <laughs> yeah. just nobody get in my way when i'm playing just you, know, somebody just, out. you know i got it you gotta lock the, you gotta I lock your bedroom myself in the face because i'm not <laughs> like, oh man. man i'm gonna be playing that game every time every time we're done with this podcast <laughs> every thursday <laughs> that's what i'm gonna be playing just 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 like look for someone who looks like us Dumb. from behind yeah I just, I just choke about yeah, yeah. <laughs> that yeah no we'll see how well that does i know that a lot of vr games that i've played are like they're fun that like but i haven't yet found those groundbreaking experiences mainly because you have to keep this thing on your head the entire time 
So that's kind of the Wii syndrome with the the like the Wii was fun. But you had to stand up every single time you played the thing because you had to move the stupid motion stick. So it eventually be, just kind of died out. I, remember... I think it's getting there. I think VR is definitely getting there. And uh, the uh, what was it? the Vader Immortal, the other VR game yep. that they presented, uh, that one not as good as it could be. But again, another small step in the right direction. I think. But I don't know why they presented it because I'm confused because they already have that out. What? What is it? Vader Immortal. Have they? Yes. And that's why I'm kind of confused why they're saying it's new because I see you can go on YouTube right now and see a bunch of people playing it. But is that a VR version? Yes, it's yeah. VR. You can you can see people playing it all day long. Yeah, he's right. Initial release date 2019 for episode one. Ah. Yeah, but they didn't say this was episode two. They said it's <laughs> Vader Immortal, which is the same title as the one <laughs> that's yeah. out now. And that that's bad marketing then. Yeah. This one's uh Vader just... Immortal, a Star Wars VR series. That's all they showed. Hmm. I just want it to be as good as like Beat Saber in terms of responsing, but I think the uh, interaction of two fake lightsabers may be oh, not yeah. there yet. Oh yeah, how do you do that? Because you still have, and then but, yeah, I don't know how the hell they would, I don't know how the hell they would pull that. Right. Off. I think you can play the game right now with the lightsaber with one hand, so I don't see why you can't use if you, they have dual lightsabers because there's no physical connection in the air between two. But they rather than impact. that, I wasn't talking about two humans lightsaber yeah even in the game i mean you have nothing to stop you so you swing right. the thing and it's not like you're luke skywalker yeah it's you mostly just, just, deflection just... of bullets back at oh uh, that's not oh well, I, well and I'm you can not... throw your lightsaber well no you actually have battles with other lightsabers oh in the in the uh yep. video we saw yes um I, just in case people haven't i'm not going to ruin it uh just in case people haven't seen what is out there right now um that's something we can talk about off, off oh, okay. camera i don't want to ruin it for anyone sure, sure, sure. Mm. Okay. oh i thought the... <laughs> sorry i thought there was a there was <laughs> never mind. i thought there was like a follow-up oh sorry so i was like i was like getting excited like okay i want to hear this like censored version yeah no I'm because excited, if right? i go any more further it's yeah. gonna ruin it so, i don't want to do that okay so what is it basically just is this game just taking advantage of what you do when we were like five and just pretend yeah. with like our hands and yeah. then stop when yeah, we think God. A pretend sword made contact with like how do you have a lightsaber like you know what I'm saying? how do you have like a sword fight without ding ding my favorite part was if you watch the video the guy's arm cut off halfway through i love seeing that just floating hands out in the distance <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't even remember you know what i honestly i'm not gonna lie this is probably one of the first day to plays after after the first few videos i just i, I kind of got bored like yeah the xbox one i was i had expectations that were really high and mine as soon as that article came out mine were low for this so i didn't really have you know what I'm i didn't have a whole lot going into it that was very excited because I, I knew there'd be no ps5 so i so. did because i didn't see the article you know what you're right That's oh. the issue. so i did like this state of play but i came into it with some pretty high expectations after the xbox one uh not the xbox one but the xbox reveal uh we had crash 4 never played any of the crash games mm -hmm. hitman again never played any hitman games much to my dismay uh and then braid as you said Mm -hmm. braid remastered i'm really glad for that i liked braid a lot you had pointed that out um but there's nothing new about it it's just yeah. the same it's the same games. visuals uh i'm sorry better visuals uh and commentary from the makers of the game really cool idea i like being able to see how games are made but i'm at the third game in a in a state of play i'd like to see something new yeah yeah i, I don't know it's yeah. it seems to be all indie games and i was telling joey this earlier i think i was sharing this with you guys as well you know the ea activision grand the uh, rockstar all them they don't need to they don't need to show their stuff in these events I mean, if it's a playstation exclusive that's different but the reason it's a playstation exclusive is because sony probably paid them to make it a playstation exclusive right so in this case why does ea want to restrict how their content gets shown out their new stuff when they can just put it on youtube and get the exposure anyway instead they could just mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it, it's i don't know it's the kind nope. of, it, it's the same kind of system with xbox it's just Indie games. And yeah, then... I mean, I feel like I wasted an hour watching a whole bunch of phone games come out so, for a console yeah. that was supposed so, to so, be. So, so, you know. so. Then, after the third one, after Braid, the fourth one, Pathless, first new one that they presented. That one I thought was really cool. It looked a bit like Breath of the Wild. You had that sort of openness. Aaron's you had an the same thing. eagle where you could jump around on and fly. Um, I But I don't know what kind <laughs> of game this is. Sam had thoughts on the eagle. What was is, it? <laughs> what? Well, yeah, we, it, I mean, there was a point where it was like, you need to caress the eagle to make sure it can yeah. fly. Be one <laughs> with the eagle. I'm like, what is this? What? Like, I'm just literally shooting arrows at these boxes in the sky. And like, maybe that's somebody's, you know, yeah. that's somebody's niche. But it's like Temple Run 
with a bow and arrow. Again, phone game reference. Like that's what a lot of them yeah. felt like to me. It did look like Breath of It did look so it looked like it had a combination of stuff, but you're right. It has that phone game. I wrote down pet game. your eagle. <laughs> right. Right. It's yeah, you must pet your eagle to make sure it's but adequate. I, I will yeah. say this. I won't I you know, I will say it for that game. Even though it might not be my cup of tea, it's one of those things where it is different. You know, it's inter- it was interesting to see because it's a different game. Well, we did, I mean, we saw gameplay, so... Yeah, it's very different. And and honestly, I have to give them kudos because it's actually they're actually using their imagination. Which... Did you play Breath of the Wild? No, no, I did not. That's right. why I, I'm saying this might, it, it might not be my cup of tea, but I'll give respect where respect is due right. because it's, it's a different... It, to me, I've never seen something like that. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 yeah, I found it pretty interesting. Uh-huh. I mean, hopefully, hopefully the bigger, the bigger hitters come out. I mean, I know they showed at the PS5 event, they showed the 2K 2020 and then they showed Resident Evil 8 or the village or whatever it's called. So when they revealed the PS5, they showed a lot. Of, they showed like mm-hmm. a couple big games. And so far, I haven't seen anything that's on a first party Microsoft exclusive in the sense of it was made by Microsoft. You have Forza, Halo and Fable. All and- on PC. <laughs> yeah, and then the Halo thing was running on PC, so that was kind of a that was a bit of a buzzkill. Oh yeah, you didn't hear oh. about that? Yeah, we talked about that, like whatever it was in four. Yeah, it was it was running on a PC. Yeah, Ew. I know. <laughs> Embarrassing, especially when the, the Xbox architecture is so similar to a PC. Like there's right at some That's point. Awful. So I, I don't know. My my enthusiasm dipped a little bit today. I'm not gonna lie. I wish you know going back to what you were saying about EA Sports and them not releasing anything because they're they're on both platforms. Uh, Sony has uh, MLB The Show. Mm-hmm. That's exclusive to PlayStation. I wish they had a, like some kind of glimpse of what that was going to be like on PlayStation Five. I don't know. That would have been cool. Yeah, I, I think it's. I think. I think we're all in the same boat. I think it's just like this war between the two. Maybe that's it. Maybe the, they're, just, it, they're thinking it's a war, not a battle. So they're right. keeping some qu- arrows in their quiver. That's a, that's an interesting reference in con- <laughs> correlation to the to the yeah. game with the, so <laughs> with the shooting yeah. stars. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. What, I don't know what this feeling is. Normally, whenever console generations come out, no matter how old I uh, how old I get, I just like, oh yeah, this is yeah. I'm gonna watch this. Like, I, I know I'm at work right now. I'm, I'm gonna watch this. You yeah. know. It, it, but now it's like, you, you know, I, I don't know. It's like I, they're catering more to kids than they are their older audience. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we're just getting old, Joe. And to that. Spelunky too. That looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> then there's Kyle. <laughs> so uh, Derek Ua, who was the presenter for that one, he he seemed really passionate about Sp- uh, Spelunky too. He he told a great story about uh, all of the community coming together to create great stories, and that kind of got me excited about this one. Uh, I did play a little bit of Spelunky one. Uh, and I was terrible at it <laughs> because it's just like you get murdered by a block. It's falling from nowhere. I didn't even know there was a Spelunky one. Oh, no? I, I didn't until today. You know what's interesting? I was like, you and I like the same kind. Like, so, so it's funny, right? Because so you guys like the sports stuff. So I can totally see how this one, especially, you know, didn't didn't really ring any. You know, it didn't really do much for it. There wasn't any shooters. There wasn't any action stuff. There was, you know, but and 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 kind of like you know, Kyle and I like the fantasy RPGs and stuff like that. And you know, I like to play shooters and stuff too. But even like in all those games, like I didn't see anything that was particularly exciting. Mainly because. I don't know. It just seemed like indie games, as cool as some of them are, they seem like they have a like Microsoft and Sony, and I, I think like Apple and the rest of the companies use them for like a cash grab type thing. So the next game that they showed off was uh, Genshin Impact, and did anybody else catch that first moment that they showed it? No, just me. Okay. Yeah, I think I fa- I phased out on this one, bro. I I wish I could be there with you on the on the. I just I like literally lost interest. Wow. All the way through, and I love that kind of stuff. It just yeah. didn't. So for it's a JRPG. It looks like, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, I actually had a little question mark. Is it a JRPG? It has that style, that animation style. Yeah. Uh, and the crazy big boss fights, but we didn't see anything like. Mm, turn, select your action. It's it's probably a real time game. Um, we saw where they were fighting a big wolf, but the first moment it is somewhat of a, a an anime trope. There was the girl on a hill yeah. and her butt just swivels around. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I, I, I wish I could figure out what's wrong with me, but now it's like, I really feel like I'm just kind of like, I'm just, I'm just slouching. I'm just sitting here just like, what the hell is going on? It was a 
blase state of play for you, huh? It really, it really was. And normally, they're good. I think one of the state of plays they announced the Final Fantasy VII remake, which I always talk about, and it just. So the the state of play 2019 had RE3, uh, Dreams, Predator, Hunting Grounds, Untitled Goose Game, Platinum Games showcases Babylon's Fall, Spellbreak, uh, Paper Beast Unveiled, and Super Liminal. Uh, most of the games I haven't heard about this year at all. Uh, so we can, I guess, like RE3, yeah, uh, Predator, I saw that, and Untitled Goose Game. But the rest. I haven't really heard much about them you, this year at all. You know what I think it is? is From because, last year. <clears throat> I think what it is is that we all have our games that we're waiting to see. Like, you're waiting for, I'm waiting for, Sam, I don't know, Cyberpunk, we're waiting for, we're waiting for Grand Theft Auto 6. Mm-hmm. We're waiting for these. Now we're and, talking. And when you don't have Xbox, have, Microsoft didn't show it. PlayStation didn't show it, and you're showing me these indie games, or like Sam was saying, these phone games. It's like great, wonderful. Yeah. You know what I mean? A quick it's run like, through it's, of it's, those it's phone a, games. It's a letdown, basically. It's like where's the big, where's these big games? Where's these things that are gonna make me? Where are those buy? wow moments where you exactly. see the crowd standing up, and then there's a bunch of YouTube videos, people making reaction yes. of people like reacting to the the game getting announced, yeah. their favorite yeah. game, this cool thing. The world would have dropped, literally. YouTube would have exploded if, if a GTA 6 or, hell, even a Call of Duty, which usually, I mean, a new one comes out every year. Like, at least that something. Yeah. Spider-Man, uh, Far Cry 6, if we'd seen anything, maybe. Uh, there's no fighting games that we See, saw. Far Cry 6 could have been another one that they could have. Right. That was yeah. recently Nothing from announced. Cyberpunk. And I don't know who else saw that trailer for Far Cry 6, but they got the, it's got Gus from. Uh, um, there's yes. an issue Breaking with it. Dead. There's <gasps> an issue with Far Cry 6 right What's now. What's the issue? No. They are, there is complaints that the guy's too dark. I'm Wait, not lying. Complaints from whom? Like There's minded? South Americans? Uh, no. Um, like the tone of his skin is too dark. The racists oh, are complaining? They're not racist. Um, you want maybe the PC culture? The Wait, what is that? Mean? The, That's the opposite it's a, it's end of the South spectrum. If, if we need, by the way, time out. If we need to cut this out, go ahead. Because um, I don't want to start something. But uh, I've sure, heard sure. that the Black Lives Matter jumped in and said that skin was oh, too dark oh, oh. okay but so that's there, how he looks at first i thought it was like actually if him are, being filmed if if uh the complaint is that it's not representative of the actor himself that's interesting because wait a second i know what joey's talking about i remember hearing stuff about this too because apparently wait maybe maybe i'm thinking of a different story but there was a bunch of outcry Oh, cry, far cry. That's interesting. Um, there was, <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> there was, I heard people talking about how basically the game was kind of, it had an opportunity to kind of like make jabs at the current, you know, political situation right now and a lot of the cultural stuff that's been going on. And instead, they kind of took a high road. And I think there are, there are members, or, or, I don't know what side, I don't want to get like super political, but I think right. there, I, there's something I, I'm familiar with, with, with the outrage. The, you know what? I don't care. It's got Gus in it, and I, I and, and no, but that's what his, his kid hold a grenade. But that's why I'm thinking. What I'm saying, why I brought that up is because that might be a reason why they're not showing it. Hmm. I mm. interesting thought. I definitely think it's maybe another arrow that they're waiting to throw. It could be. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I, I'm just saying. I, I'm that could be. A, a, there's multiple reasons. Yeah. Or they just want the YouTube ads. Yeah. So real so quick, the phone those. games mm-hmm. that are the quote unquote phone games that I think Sam. Uh, refers to there was a Aeon Must Die, uh, it's kind of a side scroller, maybe a combo focus type game. Um, combos like I say, uh, Mortal Kombat or Tekken, where it's important to have the right buttons in the right order, um, versus Anno Mutationum, which uh, was a further out side scroller. Uh, the move set looks cool, but it definitely had the style of a button masher where it's more important to just jam on. Wait, did you just say Tekken was in this state of play? No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm saying that Aeon Must Die had a moveset style in the showcase, okay. which it gotcha. appeared like it was important to have a focus on correct button pushing a la Tekken. I gotcha. Okay. I was about to say, wait, because I did and not see anything like that. You know, it's funny. Sorry. I, I, like, I just want to, because the, so like Tekken season four just got announced and I'm super excited about that. But that's <laughs> another thing that I think. I can't remember. Maybe I think it was just all over the place. I don't know. I mean, it's a Japanese game because it's made by Namco or whatever. And then again, that could have been in the, the state of play. It's like stuff's getting announced, but it's not getting announced during these events where it's like you have to sit here and wait for 15 minutes and watch this symbol flip. Yeah. <laughs> right. 
I mean, it's it's a showcase. It, you know, if I'm going to go into a showcase, I'm not going to keep anything back. I'm going to just lay it all out there. Yeah. I'm going to make people want to come and buy something. Because at the end of the day, I mean, you're paying to play in a lot of these games. You're not just paying for the game itself. You're paying for all the content that comes with it after that. Like, if nobody wants to go and buy it, how good have you done? Right. I mean, you can keep as many things, you know, in your in your, you know, quiver, but cool you just released it there's no build up there's no people waiting in line anymore to go and buy that game that you know the people that were waiting to do all the pre-sales they they were excited because there was this this mystery behind what was going to happen right and then we got this there was this big anticipation this big build up and then it's just like especially after the microsoft thing sony had two weeks to (laughs) just pay your million pay your two million pay your 50 whatever just get that one developer to give you that one game trailer that just Right at the end, drop it, make everyone go nuts. So now, I mean, is this uh, a fault of Sony or is this a fault of the game, you know, the game developers, the the companies that own the rights, the games, the guys that are putting out Call of Duty? I think it's do, that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are they holding out, not giving them the content that they would need to flourish and have a good state of play? I think it's that because, I, cause they, I mean, again, you could see it with Ubisoft. You could see it with all the other. They want to release I think it's I think it's YouTube ads. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's just you know you could they could put it out they could put an ad on it, and suddenly the video has you know 50 million views. They're pulling in like a little bit of cash plus their sales. So it's like why give that Sony exclusive rights and then they get to host it if Sony's not gonna pay when they're gonna get the exposure anyway. Yeah, you know what well, I'm saying. I mean, and, and and that's where I think some you know these councils can go out and start incentivizing things. You know, hey, like I'll release you two weeks early or I'll advertise more for your game. Or I'll put it on all these different platforms and, and try to market your game better than like the next game. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, I remember back ten years ago. I mean, it, Xbox and PlayStation used to duke it out. Now it's like watching yeah. a golf game. <laughs> you know, and, and it's just it, it, it's like wow, oh, that's great. And Finally, so, a laugh. You know, everything was feeling um, so depressing. For <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like watching the golf game. Steps up to the. <laughs> You know, like I want that civil war battle where they just stand up. They know they're gonna yeah. take it and just start knocking people's. You yes, know, that's what PS4 and mm. Xbox One yeah. was like. Remember the 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 thing? I think I even talked about it, where they uh, Xbox Microsoft was talking about how you couldn't share games with your friends, and then Sony released that trolley ass <laughs> yes. video. It's like this is how you share games on PS4, and then you have one dude hands game to other dude, and that's it. <laughs> and then yeah. the video's Boom. over like fifty eight seconds. <laughs> that's what I want. I want like, have you guys seen Wendy's Twitter account? No. Oh, and like yes. how, how Wendy's Twitter account just goes after everyone and anyone. I heard about the chicken nugget thing. That's all I really know about. Uh, it. But like, I want that person. Yeah, right. <laughs> to, to run be, this stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I want their you know counterpart going for Xbox, and I want the Wendy's you know Twitter. Yeah, or whoever's responsible yeah. for Wendy's Twitter. Like, I want it to be nasty. And I know we're in a time where everybody's got to be nice to each other. No, screw that. You, you know, know everybody the, wins, but like the this, that's guy. what this is. He, the T-Mobile guy's a great example. And he took over whatever the guy who was that took over T-Mobile that said, here's contract free phones. Here's this, here's that. Here's everything for, for free. The whole industry like changed because his yep. stuff was like so, not, I don't want to say radical, but it was just so different from the norm. He like broke away from this whole like, let's all be a collective monopoly so we won't get broken up and we're all kind of not competing with each other, but competing with each other enough so we stay within the right. boundaries of the law and this guy's just like disruption just <laughs> screw you guys no contracts <laughs> uh, and that was it and now everything's great with with phones for the most i don't know i don't have any good place uh, anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> there is uh i want to uh correct myself and uh here with the far cry 6 thing yeah uh so what it is is that it wasn't anything with black lives matter oh, okay. um, what it was is that there's people that wants Ubisoft to be canceled because the guy that's playing the 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 villain the the, mm-hmm. the guy he's not um he's not Spanish he's what? not he Latin. speaks Spanish no he's like he's Dominican actually or African American and Italian what no he has like a what's his what's his full name uh it says right here uh, uh, Esposito's so, heritage is African American and Italian Giancarlo Esposito yeah. playing uh. What? But a he dictator speaks Spanish. Yeah, I guess maybe he just happens to and know Spanish. Ubisoft is criticized on social media for hiring a non-Latino actor to play what? a Latino wait, wait, wait. character. But Far Gianca- Cry is Giancarlo for- Esposito is playing Anton Castillo. But- Esposito is Italian descent, as you say, and obviously the character Castillo is the South Spanish. American. Yeah, South it's, American. It's like a South American Spanish type thing. I, I don't know. Far Cry has always been known for its villains, so I don't really care. Well, what does it matter? Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't matter. Jennifer Lopez was Mexican. She played Selena. And, and uh, everyone made uh, a big... But it was a good but movie. But she's Latino. 
Scarlett Johansson played Major uh, Motoko Kusanagi. Yeah, and she is not Asian. No. <laughs> I don't know. Look at the new a- Annie with uh, Jamie Foxx. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what does it matter? It's yeah, a fictional matter? game. Yeah, it's a fictional Like, world. all right, so now it needs to be a fictional game that's accurate, you know? And, and, right. And, uh, yeah. That the whole point of it being. They literally could have had him voice it and just make his face different. And would people have still been outraged? Like, probably. Probably. I, okay. But people like Family Guy and Mike Henry voices Cleveland and he's a, a the like whiter than Kyle. <laughs> yeah, but the, did you? I, I, I'm not going to get That's a conversation for another time. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to make that correction. That's all. Okay. So well, I apologize. It's I agree with Sam. Who cares? No, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I'm take, in the take, same boat with you guys. Take everything else. Like, take the news, take all the social events, take all social media, leave the games alone. Like, yeah. that, like that's that's the... Where's Chris you know, Crocker you're, when you need him? Leave you're him. just, like, crossing that line. Like, I, that's the thing, too. It's like, when, when I played before, you're, you're looking at a screen. Like, I, I played as a Chinese or Asian female on Call of Duty for, like, I think a good six months before I realized I could change the gender. And Yeah. But it, it doesn't matter. Like, that didn't offend me. I was playing... It's it, it yeah. just... It, you know people are just getting too too worked up about things and it's right. starting to roll over in areas that it doesn't need to roll over into right. and i have a confession i'm not really a female dwarf like i am in world of warcraft oh my god <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what i'm saying it's just it's just ridiculous like this is where people go to get away this is where people go to like get some of that stress out from their yeah. day-to-day life and now it's like all right now that's carrying over into it that's a good point instead yeah. of yeah bringing this crazy world into the video game world we're supposed to use the video game world to escape this crazy world but but i was saying that too like is 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 something like this affecting these state of plays where they're trying to bring out stuff that's so neutral you know that it's not going to offend safe. or piss anybody off or mm, what a great any, you know any theory. issues that's a really good theory what a great segue into bugs bug snacks <laughs> but, <laughs> I, you know what i know i genuinely think that you actually may have a point there, that everything is just sitting so neutral rather than have any negative brand affiliation. They'll let Ubisoft take the heat. They'll let whomever take the heat. And then Sony plays safe. And it's just like, well, I mean, we just make the console. So if you want to be a bug in a garden. Capturing other bugs. And and his name is Alex or her name. Oh, their name. Are you guys excited for the game, uh, The Pedestrian? Uh, oh, that, yeah, that was another one of the cell phone games that I was talking about. Is that where you just is that again? I I did not pay attention. Did you just wow. walk around. You just blanked out. For I the did. Whole I thing. did. I literally don't. Minutes. I barely remember any of it because it okay. was just that droll. It was just here we go again. Yeah. Same so thing real with quick, Microsoft bug snacks. You can capture bugs, which are also snacks, and uh, the capture <laughs> mechanics were interesting. You I can throw wait. out different like combinations of nets and collecting things uh that's totally the, an Aaron game by the way <laughs> the, saw the little walking <laughs> cheeseburger was funny so before before the show so i missed the live one but i saw it about two minutes after yeah. it finished um you had mentioned oh there's a cool pokemon game yeah. and i saw bug snacks and i'm like oh you can capture bug snacks it's like pokemon it's that's like a pokemon, pokemon knockoff but like this one was not the pokemon knockoff that you were referencing no. The later one, uh, it was Temtem. It wasn't Pico Men. Or... T- Temtem was the Pokemon <laughs> knockoff, I believe. You were trying to reference. There's a multiplayer element. You can like summon your little dudes. There was two of them side by side. Yeah, it doesn't. It didn't do anything for me. Wow. It, it's not real. Po- like I'll play real Pokemon. Sure. But I don't want to play day. knockoffs of all day. Right. I don't want the. Don't give me something that's like a ripoff of an original IP. Pokemon One. There's nothing you could do about it. You're never going to make Digimon work. Like yeah. it had its time, right? Yeah. Okay. You have Magic, the Gathering, and Yu-Gi-Oh. You're not going to have card captors. Okay. Like it just doesn't. Like, like let's stop with the copying stuff. Give like new. It's either remakes or copies of existing. Everyone's playing it safe. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm I'm just over it. I, I just I, I I'm over it. Give me that. Where's that new new thing? When Titanfall came out, you know they took a big risk making that game. Respawn. It sold well, but it, you know it didn't keep up. Destiny was Bungie. Again, it sold well, but it didn't keep up. The, but, uh, the Division. The Division sold again. The Division yeah. was a great game that had a really, and I don't know if you want to say new concept, but it was it was completely different than any game I'd ever played. Yeah. You know, I mean, everything was real world. You can go into the, what is it, the dark area. Or, yeah. Or, it was a whole I, city. It was awesome. The and, moment you know, in that initial trailer where that person is like crouched behind a car. And he closed and the And they closed the, yes. I remember we, when we I lost, we lost our, our minds. minds. When I went, you know, I was working office jobs at that time. Still am, but. 
everyone in all the cubes were talking about that. Remember when he closed the door? Did you see that part? He closed like just that little thing. And then it never, it fell flat. It just couldn't take it. And yeah. I don't know what it is that they're doing wrong. I mean, Godfall <laughs> seems to be a new IP. So how's we'll the, see how that goes. But So oh. s- speaking of the division, how's uh, have you played the second one? Um, no, I actually, I didn't play the second one. I, uh, I liked the first one. I, I had every, every intention of getting the second one, but the, I, I think the reason why it kind of fell flat was you, you do need a team to play like it. And I mean, realistically, you know, being an adult now, like I don't have enough time to put towards leveling up gear, leveling up weapons. Uh, you know, some of my good buddies that I play with, they work night shift. Mm-hmm. You know, I I work during the daytime, so it's like linking up to have that team so that you can go through and like create, you know, get some of these missions done and get the you know the good gear and go do things. It, it's just not feasible. It's still a great game. I mean, I'd play it if I had the time. I'd play it if I had the team to do it. But I think that's a large reason why it, maybe it didn't do as well as other games. So you're not alone in that. You're, you're probably uh the the target audience that Sony's been going for their whole career is aging. And maybe that's why we're seeing so many of these phone games like the auto chess or the pedestrian. I mean, we talked about the Samsung, how kids want to play the little phone games now. And at the end of the day, I mean, these are technically, well, they're entertainment products. They are video games. And while, I mean, we have all grown up with them for a long time, they're enjoyed, I would assume, also by children. Of <laughs> Right? But yeah, sure, if, if what's making money is it is the is the damn mobile games then maybe that's just what these companies are doing uh, i mean then put it on you know the itunes store or whatever it is the google play and whatnot i mean don't have an entire showcase for playstation based did, off of these you know yeah. I, I, it, it was just kind of a flop did I the mean, auto chess game even have a title other than just auto chess I, I was you blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so Tom, we we're we're doing a podcast. Right I know. Now. I just I, I couldn't. Show. <laughs> I literally sat there just thinking to myself, "Wow, we did four on the Xbox, and we all were just like pissed because we had all these expectations, and it was like, okay, well, Sony's PS5 one, like you know, even you know, Sam was ex- big Xbox guy, more Xbox and PlayStation, but you know, he was even saying the Xbox one, he was, dis- mm-hmm. he was disappointed." And for some reason, it was like in my mind, it was like, you know what? And Sony's going to, you know, he's, they're, they're going to keep capitalizing. And then on it's that. just That's like, what I thought too. Right? No. Well, but looking back on it now, I'd say I, I, I preferred the Xbox one. At least they gave you something that you wanted. You know, everybody wants Halo. Yeah. You know, there hasn't been a good yeah. Halo. It in, wasn't a in good a trailer, but at least I they mean, had one. But at least there's that 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 little bit mm-hmm. they gave you. Like, hey, Sony could have done God of War. They could have yep. done Uncharted. They have plenty of first party IPs. Yeah, Spider Man. So they they did well. They did not. They did a the Spider Man Miles. Uh, Miles Morales. Miles yeah. Morales. Um, at that one, but I mean, they have they have. Well, let's see. Hold on. Cyberpunk. They, well, Cyberpunk is not a Sony IP okay. per se, but the Sony IPs they have God of War. They they could have made a new Killzone. People would have been excited for that. I know there was a lot of people who played Killzone two for a very 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 long time on PS three. They could have done. I don't know. They could have at least given one awesome Sony because it wasn't freaking Crash Bandicoot. I love Crash Bandicoot as much as the next person, not as much as Kelly. I don't think anybody does. I don't think much. you love Crash Bandicoot as much as the next person. <laughs> I think it's just sort of. Eh. I'm probably I'm probably like one tier above Sam. Okay. Thank you. He's, thank yeah, you for right. I, I just, well, I mean, the coolest game that they came out with in my mind was Hitman, but that wasn't yeah. really a a new thing. They're just adapting an old idea yeah. to uh, uh, you know the, the virtual reality. Right. And, and myself, like, I've never really got on that virtual reality. You know, the, the, the VR games. Mm-hmm. I, I've tried a couple. They've all Have been you tried really just kind of... I, you know, I just can't get into it, right. you know? I'm, it, one, I'm afraid I'm going to hit something, make <laughs> put a hole in something. You yeah. know, do, do something destructive. Because I've seen all those great <laughs> videos that they have on YouTube. But I, it just doesn't... Yeah. It's, it's not my, my thing, you know? Like, I can't hold a controller or a Red Bull right. and, you know, put a can of dip in and then... You know. Yeah, I mean, it is cool technology. It is super cool to just be able to, you know, you know, to the whole experience is awesome. But like I said, it's got that Wii and Connect thing. You need a whole room dedicated to this kind of playstyle. Sometimes you just want to chill out, you know, pop yeah. in a game and, 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 and hit A a bunch of times. Yeah, you yeah. just want to chill out, play VR, and pop in uh, PT, right, Jeff? I That'd would be never. So good. That would. Oh, Kyle, you said something earlier. How you wish there was more scary games, and you and I yes. agreed on that. Yeah, so I'm a big scary guy. Scary. You're a big scary guy. <laughs> you are a big scary guy. I'm a scary big guy. scary guy. No, yeah. I'm a, I love horror games. I think that the genre of horror movies is a dud. And I think, and I know I have some friends that love horror games. And I, I'm sorry, but you are wrong. 
Candy horror man. movies are bad. They're bad. <laughs> Candy man. They're bad. <laughs> Candy man. <laughs> <laughs> They're bad, but scary games. No, no, no. I'm talking about the one that's coming out. Candy man. It looks really good. I didn't see Candy man. Oh. Was, that, was that in the state of play too? Because I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I blacked out. I blacked out. No, no. Uh, Jordan Peele's Whoa, producing. Oh, what um, is this? Oh, this is a movie. It's, yeah. You know what? I like Jordan Peele, and I, so I'll give it a chance. But it's not going to be as good as but Fear. We're, we're talking about PlayStation, not movies. Right. To your point, uh, the scariest game of the list, of the, uh, the most horror-type game that they came out with in this state of play was called uh, Control uh, AWE, which I believe was for Alan Wake Expansion 2. Um, and at first, I thought it was uh, like a Beyond Two Souls 2. Um, same sort of... Uh, animation style mm. the floating through the air aspect of it and the you must stay in the light but that was really cool looking wasn't alan wake a, a xbox game though i thought for the longest time that was an xbox exclusive i i could be wrong i thought uh and i looked it up in fact just to make sure i was right uh i don't know yeah I, yeah, it, yeah yeah so it, it was. control semicolon no control colon awe is the official alan wake expansion we've long been waiting for got an august 27 release date on ps4 <sighs> oh, okay so the original one was an xbox 360 exclusive i don't care uh, you know just give me it didn't even have to be gta 6 i know i keep talking about gta 6 i don't care just give me well you're you're talking about you know hey maybe we're getting older maybe the games aren't appealing to us as much but like what, what were a couple games that you played you know when you're in your childhood peak game playing time like what were the games you remember because mine are halo hmm. You know, Grand Theft Auto Three. Yes. You know, I mean, that was that's awesome. Um, uh, yeah, Pokemon, the Final Fantasies for the PS One, and it was um, oh my god, GTA Three. That's a. But but that's, you could pick any three Nintendo games. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like they're so different than what's being e e even if you put age into it, it's mm -hmm. like they're more sophisticated games ten years ago than it seems like what's what they're they're showcasing right now. Yeah, the graphics I, may not have been good ten years ago, but. But the game, the maybe content, they're still contending uh, with the power that the PS5 can offer, and they don't even know what they're capable of doing. As the, uh, the pedestrian one did. No, yeah. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> yeah, you know, no the Godfall. I mean, uh, that may be the case, but the text, it's basically the same exact console. Like architecturally, it's this. It's basically the same. It still runs on x86 instruction set. So it, it's. It, it, I mean, the PS4, from what I understand, I could I, but from what I understand, I think Joey, you brought this up on our on when we were talking about the PlayStation stuff on whichever one it was a few weeks ago. The PS4 games are directly, or PS5 has direct compatibility with PS4 because the architecture is the same. Yeah. I mean, I even talked about this one instance where, and again, I wasn't sure how true this is, but this guy made a video, Cal, about this. This He basically took Halo Master Chief Collection, hacked his PS4, and put it on there. Nice. Because it's the same architecture. Well, so, but that's like, that's like happening in a Ferrari and doing 20 around the racetrack. Like, well, I don't know how fast this can go. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep it at this like really comfortable speed limit. You know, nobody's taking a risk. Like, there was no yeah. risk in that. There was yeah. no, yeah. You know, if I'm getting in a Ferrari and I'm on a racetrack, like, you better believe I'm flooring that. Yeah, like, oh, I'm going to take that risk. I'm going like, to take, yeah. This is the opportunity for those indie games to come out. And I think it may be uh, State of Play is a poor name for this. I, like, call it, a, like, an indie showcase because that's really all it was. Then you set expectations, yeah. You know, and, and then you're 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 really, you know, on par, you know, for what to expect. Indie showcase, cool. I'll pass. Yeah. You know? Well, one other yeah. thing, maybe. Um, this one is obviously coming out in August. The last one was December. So this is only eight months since their last one. Maybe they just needed more time. Maybe. I, I, so then, I, I mean, push it back. I, I mean, yeah. like, we're, we're in a pandemic. Everything's getting pushed back. Nobody's going to say, oh, my God, you guys didn't come out with it on, mm -hmm. you know, August 6th. You right. know, no, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you know, I'm Who not going to buy anything now. No, well, like, hey, look. You wait an extra month, get whatever content you need. It's just going to make people more interested in watching your show. You right. know, I mean, like these consoles didn't have to push for people to want to see things for them. I mean, right. like there's there's really what there's 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 PlayStation, there's Xbox, there's the Switch, which is I, I think pretty popular, but that's it. Yeah. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. just saying PlayStation, everybody knows what it is. It's a gaming console saying Xbox. Everybody knows what it is. Well. Maybe instead of doing a showcase every year, do it every other year. I mean, yeah. something. Yeah. Not like, during a console release year. That's the. If this came out last year, if this came out in January, it wouldn't have been such a blow. It would have been like, okay, there's some cool stuff there. Yeah. But because all it's of our expectations, yeah, all our expectations are set so high. At this point of of everything, I 
would say, man, I wish you guys just held on another year before you release the console because get stuff together. Mm -hmm. Because what they're showing me, showing everybody, is they, yeah, they maybe spend time on these consoles, but they're rushing through to get these things out, and you're giving us crap. Yeah, I, I think it's just the chicken thing. And, and I think the more and more we look at it, I think it's just now they're trying to figure out what price points they can work at. Yeah. And they're waiting for the other person to jump. And you know yeah. what? If that's the case, then just freaking, then somebody just jump. I don't care. Well, yeah, why well, make us suffer? Right. And and and, yeah. and wonder what's going to happen. Well, just quit doing stuff just to do it. I mean, that's kind of what this felt like. It's like, well, we have an annual showcase, so we're going to have another annual showcase mm -hmm. this year. But you that's know, what like I'm saying the last it's almost one like doing December. a podcast well, every week. <laughs> yeah, like, well, <laughs> I mean, but you know, there's content to talk about. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not like we're just, oh, it's Thursday. This is what we do. You know, yeah. it's Thursday at seven. Like, let's go. Oh, you guys don't. You don't do that, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you know what I'm saying. Like, don't don't force it. Like, this felt forced. Right. The Xbox One felt forced. It did. Um, you know, I mean, we we've got people that are gonna buy these consoles, buy these games. I, you know, and and at the end of the day, like, who's holding them responsible or accountable for what they've provided? Mm -hmm. I mean, because if I gave that kind of performance in my you know my workplace, I have a couple people really disappointed with you know my performance right but, but right how do you how do you hold them accountable how do you hold them accountable to this obviously there's ratings and you know people review it you'll get the negative reviews mm -hmm. but it's still not going to prevent people from going out and buying a playstation or an xbox they're right. still going to buy it right so also, i mean yeah. maybe we just have to sit back and take it as, as awful as that sounds <laughs> I mean, what I mean, what else is there really to say? I mean, I'll, we can hark about it all we want, but you're right. We're, I'm still going to get a PS5. You're still going to get an Xbox and Halo. It doesn't matter how crappy the trailer is. <laughs> Kyle's going to be the one to tell us in the future about all these, all these, these weird, strange indie games and how much fun he's having with them. And you know what? I'm all for him having fun with them. But damn it. I do like that auto chess. I, I I know it's probably just a cut and paste from any other number of the ones on the phone, but uh, yeah, my I like, Farmville. I like my Farmville. No, I don't like Farmville. Um, no, I, I blame Farmville for this. <laughs> yes, I, I now I just, I just now got it. Farmville started this whole phenomenon with these little bursty mobile games, Candy Crush. It wasn't Farmville. It was that uh, what was the Facebook one, the Mafia one. Mafia Wars. Yeah. Mafia Wars. Yeah. Ma I think, Mafia? wasn't that the start of it? Mafia Wars came up for Farmville? Was that? Uh, I think so, yeah. You know what I really blame this on? Goat Simulator. <laughs> Don't what you talk that? about my goat simulator. Have you ever played that game before? Don't you talk about my goat no, simulator. No, I've seen them, but I don't. summon like, the, the, like, like Satan. My daughter loves Goat Simulator. Yeah. She is the tall goat. Well, you know what? I'm, it's a giraffe. I, I, I'm glad that you're proud of your daughter. And I, I hope to God her goat grows even bigger. But damn that game. Because oh. ever since that goat came out, it seems like all these other stupid games have followed. Was that another so. one in the showcase? Goat Simulator? No, but it blacked just... Out. I, I blacked out. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> goat Simulator. No, it's Cow Simulator, Simulator now. Yeah. Well, you know what's amazing no. is that... Is that I'm joking. Okay. There is like, you see those indie games that pop up on PC and stuff like that. They'll start there, right? So it was, I think Minecraft Minecraft at one point was a, was an indie game. Sure. And Goat Simulator. Yep. And Bus Simulator or whatever. There's like Euro those, Truck Simulator. There's a bus. <laughs> turkey No, it is. It's, it's yeah. called Turkey Baster Simulator. Turkey yeah. Baster. You're right. You can have all these. That's what like Steam and the PC world is for. Or in Absolutely. Or the to, iTunes game phone. Right. You know, like that's that's where those belong. Like. And then move it to PC once you once you once you hit a certain once you hit a certain threshold. Well, I mean, how much game plays in the pedestrian one? Uh it actually I mean, looked like quite a bit of uh, gameplay. I was pretty excited for that one due to the fact that you can uh, build your own maps and uh, it's a puzzle where you have to reconnect different entrances and exits. Um, it seemed like a lot of beautiful background visuals going on. There was the crane working on stuff in the in the background, just sort of exploring a world in a new way. You know what it reminded me of is, you remember when you bought your, like uh, I think it was like Windows 7, um you get like one of those like standalone computers or whatnot and you could put the little like cpu monitor in the corner like they're the little attachments the the yeah the widgets but they weren't called widgets they were called gadgets yeah gadgets so <laughs> that reminded me of the one gadget of the bird where it was like 18 squares and you could only move one at a yes. time and you had to keep doing that i it just was like okay cool like you can have that you know, it, oh, yeah. the sliding block puzzle yes yeah, so that's what it reminded <laughs> it's me it's because that's, that's when, when i was watching it i mean it was like all right, let's move this around, complete the circuit. Then we run through the circuit. You know, like, 
I, I don't know. No Maybe pun that's... intended. Yeah, we are, we are not say. correlated to that bad game <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> Sam said that by accident. I'm getting really close to the microphone right now, so it might be loud, and I apologize. But we are not affiliated with... Uh, pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Completely in the circus. It's not you a know, pedestrian <laughs> podcast. You know the game stops, though, the second you get hit by a car, right? Because <laughs> then you have to restart. I All would play that. Stop. It's, it, just just once though <laughs> yeah i mean it's 2020 frogger like yeah i, I mean it, right it's it a safe is. bet you take old stuff and i get it a lot of things are rehashed family guys after the simpsons i get that but when you have your own spin on it your own flavor on it it's it's fun you can do that kind of stuff i mean saints rolls rip off of, of grand theft auto but a lot of people enjoy playing that yeah because it's over the top exactly it's you can you can do that stuff but when all of it's safe and there's no like new spins on the medium I, 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 I don't know. so i saw uh speaking of that hood Outlaws and Legends, the second to last game that they talked about. That actually just, looked good. I thought it was just like a. I blacked out for that one too. What was it? Rip off almost. Hoods, hoods in the hood. It's. Uh, I believe it's going to be multiplayer because they had four classes of uh, these different outlaws, all working together for a certain goal. But the implied thing in the trailer was that they aren't actually friends. Maybe they could turn on each other at any point. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, we don't really know much gameplay about it. <laughs> it's honestly like we we saw we saw bum all uh it, it was it was just all cinematic i i guess i i, I just i blanked out oh <laughs> is that one of, is that a game from the showcase temtem yeah that was the pokemon game oh like, like even like... the even the animals that you summon to fight one another are like pokemon rivas it's like Pukachi. That's a. <laughs> it's like a ripoff. That's GPS an Umbreon system. right there. <laughs> so, you know, it's a there's a, so, so a ladies Venomoth. and gentlemen, it's uh, only three of us in this podcast today. Uh, the fourth one is blanked out. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and then I the, want to talk about Godfall. There we go. Let's, I don't want to keep. Last that, but not I want, least. Keep, I want to talk about Godfall because I think Godfall. They also had the thing Sam was talking about with no microtransactions, and mm-hmm. it looks like they're trying something new. And while it does look like an action MMO, which I'm familiar with. And it's a little rinse and repeat. Looks like it's something different. So I'm, I'm a bit excited for it. But that, I mean, I'm, I have the same level of excitement for that. Uh, no, I have a little bit of excitement for Fable than I do for this Godfall thing. But I'll keep watching it. I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll keep looking out for it and see, you know, what, what, what it's about. Wait a minute. You're telling me you're more excited about a game that a toad swallows a fairy than Godfall. Well, yeah, but I played the first three fables. Dude, you can kick chicken. Yeah, you could literally go into people's houses. I can kick a chicken in Call of Duty. Or you could shoot a chicken in Call of Duty. You <laughs> kick a chicken in Fable. Oh, well, shoot a chicken. And Sorry. you get a score. So yeah. you got to like line the chicken up, get it on a hill. Oh, it's great. Approach the speed. You don't remember from the first one? Kyle, you can kick the chicken and then you get it's literally <laughs> no, in your stats. I don't sure. remember that. Yeah, I, I got an Xbox Concept like meters. award kicking chickens. Like it was <laughs> like 10 s- gamer <laughs> score. So wait a minute. You guys are all about kicking the, chicken. the chickens chicken. and playing Fable, but you guys have a hard time with these indie games. Okay, but here's the thing. The kicking the, kicking the chicken mini game is the equivalent to what these entire indie games are today. But unlike <laughs> truth, Fable had everything else. You had costumes and good and bad and good sword and sister killing or not sister killing a tournament with a giant scorpion and yeah i'll keep oh, with, like dice uh, games in the couldn't you play like dice yeah, games there was like, like that there was a lot of content. i'll play that, that god game like instead a, i like that better i sounded like a storyboarding session about like all right we need some sort of game let's just uh all right i'm, uh, I'm here i'm i just woke but up you know i've got totally I'm down okay. five cups of coffee and i'm gonna just start rambling stuff off all right you're fighting a scorpion and <laughs> you can kill your sister we're not killing your sister a straight coke trip just just, yeah. just, just grabbing something you know Damn. what all that stuff was in again i had more fun yeah. playing the chick but only because that's not was my only option if look I'm, oh my god i just remembered from fable uh, seducing like a whole town of people one at a time and bringing them to a yeah. sacrifice place you can do all <laughs> right and and the, the nice part was about those games is you got to kind of pick your own adventure i think that's kind of the, the uh, with a lot of the games from the past there was all these little mini games yeah and now it's like you can now you can go around you can get any game where you, you go around and you know grass and, and hug your eagle and shoot arrows <laughs> <laughs> but that would be something that would be like another Goat game inside of, an, inside of a bigger game right yeah and that's the difference and maybe that's the thing that makes gta and, and games like that so successful but you didn't mind petting your horse and making sure your horse was taken care of in red dead Redemption. that's absolutely right but you know what after afterwards that wasn't the entire game but you're, get on the but horse you're and making fun of a hawk 
You want to hear burn. a funny story about a horse in video games? <laughs> um, oh, thank God he said in, in video games. All right, we have a clip. We have a clip. So, a uh, funny story about a horse in video games, and this is why I don't play Assassin's Creed. Um, <laughs> so, uh, my, one of my buddies, really, really good friend of mine, huge Assassin's Creed fan, right? Assassin's Creed, is that, am I saying it right? Yes. Why do I keep... I'm, no, I keep just... See, I, I keep feeling like I'm saying it wrong because, like, Creed the band... You're not putting an iPhone <laughs> you know, in the arm. It's wide open. Assassin's <laughs> um, Creed. But... Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Ass, ass, um, yeah, ass, Assassin's ass, Creed. I think I played the first one. So he goes, dude, you really need to play it so we can play it together, beat the storyline, give me the game. So I sit there and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take a little hiatus from Call of Duty. Let some people get some kills. You know, I, I, I'm going to do that for them. <laughs> so we're in Assassin's Creed, start Let playing it. I'm like, kidneys. wow, this is great. You know, get about 45 minutes into it. And I'm like, well, I got to go from like Never Never Land to Down Yonder. <laughs> But the only way you can do that is by a six like, hour horse ride. Uh, yeah, it's, it's literally a six hour horse <laughs> ride. It was like, what are the old racing games like Forza where you'd have like 48 hour races and Jeez. you just turn it on auto and then it would do it for you. Wait, is that real? Yeah. I never did Forza to that extent. I know that no. they have like old, no? old school, old school, know. like place, like oh. original PlayStation. They had like, and I think it was Forza. It might've been a different race. Gran game, Turismo. I, maybe it was Gran Turismo where you had like 48 hour races. And I remember sitting there and I'm like, wow. I'm going to race about 20 seconds just to get in the lead. Then I'm going to put it on autopilot, leave my PlayStation on, leave go to the school, TV, like <laughs> turn the TV off, go to school, come home. Mom, it turned off the PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you the, you yeah. picked up the vacuum. And- <laughs> I'm leaving, you know, pack my bag. Um, but no, I, f- so I was playing this game and it's like, cool. Like I'm doing all this parkour stuff, you know, up in the buildings, killing people. So oh, I'm people. in Forza parkour. Um, no, no, going, going back to, Going back to uh, Assassin's yeah, Creed, yeah. and I'm sitting there, and it's like, all right, cool, beat the mission. Now I've like magically warped back to the castle. I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, so now I got to go on another mission, riding my horse over there, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And I'm, I spent three hours playing this game, and I think two hours and forty five minutes of it, I was riding horses <laughs> to different locations on the map that was never about. ending, I right? Too. It was, yeah. and it was like the same section repeated over and over and over again. So Absolutely. it was just like, it was just like, like five or six. Yeah, no, like the <laughs> next level was just forty five minutes further, you know. <laughs> so now I, I'm sitting here starting to get really discouraged, and it actually got to the point where I was like, okay, uh, I don't want to play this anymore. I give it back to my buddy. I'm like, I just can't do it. He's like, what? I don't get it. Like it's a great game. I'm like, yeah, but I was riding the f- horse. <laughs> <laughs> for most of the game and he goes oh you didn't do fast travel and i was like all right cool i'm never playing another Assassin's Creed again. <laughs> yeah. but wait um, that game had oh. fast travel yeah it had fast travel you mean i beat I that said... whole thing on manual horse you too manual you horsepower too? i feel you i'm, I'm blacking That's out for the rest of episode i have now man. given up on life. did you ever get stuck on the rocks with your horse because i did i don't even remember all i remember is just sitting there you know <laughs> and then there's smugglers and i'm like oh Again, like in the same spot they were last time, 32 minutes and 15 seconds into my horse trip, you know, like it was just like, I don't know, but still talking about content, like there was a lot of, lot of, lot of horse riding content. There was, you know, but then there was other content, but in this world, that horse thing would have been the game. Like there wasn't, yes. you know, now I get Assassin's Creed, it did <laughs> horse just, rider. I just can't, I can't. Simulator. <laughs> They probably have that game. Assassin Horse Simulator. Yes. You, you, you are the horse. And an assassin. And, and the, the assassin rides you. A hooded horse. And your scores. That's what I want. I want, I want like a like a Kentucky, Kentucky Derby VR game. But like you get the, like the horse. So it's like you just got to bounce, horse? bounce up and, and down. You, you, got, and you have the whip and you actually have to. <laughs> you have to ride a broom. Like that would be great. Like it, yeah, it, it's completely ridiculous. But it'd still be fun. See, like that would have been but, something to yeah. throw into the showcase. Like, Only because it's silly, goofy. Because but, it makes fun of itself. It's not taking itself too seriously. Yeah. I get it. I'm all for the, the the more artistic indie games. Journey was like a phenomenal award winning game, and there was no dialogue. They were a good band too. The story don't stop believing. The yeah. story was like self interpreted. Like you have to basically look at the environment and see what the environment was telling you about what this world had gone through. It was a completely quiet, but it was like a miss. It was a wonderful adventure. So I'm all for that stuff. But when every single indie game is either trying to be ultra kid or ultra serious and not make fun of itself, like Goat Simulator. Right. Give me a Kentucky Turby VR game that's like clearly meant to not be taken seriously. Put the headset on, and like you see the carrot going, you know, yeah. flipping around in the VR headset. <laughs> no, you know what? And I think there's a lot of people like like Kyle. From what you were saying, it seems like you really like like the the creativity behind it, like that that mindset of the director going into it. And it's like for me that I that 
I've I've already gotten lost on that because like I I kind of compare it to going out to eat, right? I go to a nice restaurant and they're putting all these like saffron, flour, goat, sweet, whatever the case is that goes into the meal. <laughs> It, and it's like it's great cool like you spent three years in guam harvesting this like one sacred herb to then you know ferment it for two months like does it taste good you know mm. and, and, like i okay cool wow. like i understand that took you a long time to do it and i respect that process and all right. i don't i don't care right if it doesn't like, taste what does it do for me as the consumer I mean that's a good way to look at it and you know yeah. and i and i and obviously we all have our own different tastes i know that if a bunch of Final Fantasy stuff came out, like Kyle would be partially excited, but I grew up playing those games and you guys would be looking with the exact same faces. If Madden, dare I speak the words, came out, you guys probably talk about it a hell of a lot more than I would because all I'm thinking to myself is I cannot have any screwdrivers around. Or chanclas. <laughs> or chanclas. <laughs> Sandals. I don't know if you remember when, when, when Sam and I played Madden and remember you asked, where did that hole come from? And we were roommates. And <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> my God. When, we, we told the story in one of the Xbox episodes, but I would have to literally keep all my power tools. Aaron would have to lock them up. Yeah. Because if we started playing that, and that's the only thing I associate it with is pain. <laughs> well, now you have a new one. Trey Young. No, I'm not getting into the Trey Young thing. I'm going to make a wall of, of it's going to be Bezos, Trey Young. You things you can't talk about. <laughs> no, just things that just shouldn't exist. So to wrap up, Godfall. <laughs> Trey Young. Uh, Godfall. To me, it looked like a, a light version of Dark Souls and uh, the animation style of uh, God of War. You remember Terra? That's what it reminded me of. Terra. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of Terra. Kind of that beautiful aesthetic, uh, big world. Um, interesting weapons that are bigger than you uh cool shoulder pads but like <laughs> i didn't understand what the point was i enjoy the aspect of see that's what i would have expected you the expected you to have enjoyed the most because of how much i mean you played mmo i mean that game is clearly like a, an offline mmo like it's inspired yeah. by like that's the one i would have expected you to like the most because you, i mean you were such a big wow or still yeah. a big wow player I, eh, in my heart in the deep, in the deep heart. <laughs> yeah, your, your inner child still playing. Yes, exactly. In my head, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, shoot. Do, 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 do. What is it? The next expansion? Oh no, my There's, WoW chops. Wait, is, wait, wait, wait. WoW is still a thing. Yeah, dude. Uh, the next one's like, ah, uh, no, I'm I'm getting confused with Hearthstone because there's Ashes of Outland, but that's not it. Don't that's, they have uh, like what? What are their membership? Shadowlands. Like six. People? WoW Shadowlands. That's it. So I saw a little stat the other day. <laughs> six people. <laughs> No, that can't no. be for Adam. So, yeah. Adam, that's amazing to me. Probably are they like still charging? Million. Are they st- are they charging the monthly still? Yep, fifteen a month. So or unless I, you get the larger thing, but anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shadowlands is going to be exciting for me. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I've already pre ordered it. <laughs> okay, is it um, new classes? But what is the level cap uh, uh, past ninety? Yeah, level, level caps at one twenty right now. Shadowlands is probably going to keep it at one twenty, uh-huh. maybe. I, I, I'm. This is obviously not a Blizzard podcast now. Uh, <laughs> you know what? There's more content in a game that's from when? When did World Warcraft come out? Yeah, when did it come out? 2007, 2006. So, so what no, you're saying than is that. in 2005. You're right. Yeah. You're right. They so, just did their 15 year anniversary. In 15 years, all you can do is 120 levels. Well, yeah, but like every time they came out with an expansion, it was like another 10, except for uh, well, but it was a loot base. Like a lot of them. But yeah. that's what I'm like. That's, but every 10 was a big deal. And every expansion, they, they reworked everything. Well, how long does it take to get to 10? Or like that 10, you know, like... It, yeah. It depends. I mean, it I mean if you have uh, enough friends who are all helping you, there are, are uh, people who tried to get first to max cap at every expansion. Um, and with with friends, I'm sure there was people who were able to do it in like six hours. But yeah. Um, but then you burn through all the gear until the next expansion, basically, and that was what kind of turned me off from MMOs because I played. I came from a world of like free Korean MMOs <laughs> that were like hardcore. Like you know, you needed a billion experience points. The only way you can get it is killing foxes at thirteen experience points a piece, and that was it. And and you didn't want to do it cause like that's ridiculous. But then you got killed by some level ninety who'd been playing for eighteen months. Yeah, and you're like six level, you know, and it's just like, oh well, I want to kill that guy now. I mean, you know. but that, how how do you keep interest in something like that? Like you're you're capped out until it's the social because aspect. no oh, well, no no, okay. no. I, mean, I mean yes oh for and. me it was yeah. yes and so there are numerous different things now that you can do that you couldn't do in vanilla or even after the first expansion. Um, obviously the the 
uh there is a pokemon aspect to it now there's uh fishing there's um creating uh like a, a market um there's developing your own little area that is unique to you um and shadowlands offers you know far more uh areas and after cataclysm they they redid the whole world basically i heard uh, about that um i saw a little factoid the other day like we are further away from uh Pandaria, the, I, the that was the panda one. Yeah, wait. Uh, Burning Crusade, Wrathalish King, uh, Pandaria, the third expansion. We're further away from the third expansion than we <laughs> were between the release and Pandaria. <laughs> there's there's been more time since yeah. this big expansion. What I find amazing about WoW is even though it's been out for a long time, everything that he just described, I think three of those things, the other things you can do, were like these these mini games, these indie games that we saw today. Exactly. You can play games like while flying now and it's like oh wow I'm right but they're, they're in a game yeah and that's the whole games thing and like, games and games take these then take these ips and put them into other games that we you know what i'm saying like there's clearly i could totally see these guys developing the next like arrow system for the next zelda game yeah i could see well, i blacked out i don't know what, what, what other games were there besides uh, the a pedestrian <laughs> <laughs> you could put bejeweled into uh something i mean people put bejeweled in uh, did you see the guy who made a verizon cell phone instead of minecraft I mean, that you could you yeah. could easily put these mini games. Grand Theft Auto has mini games inside of there. There's TV shows inside of them. You know what I'm saying? Like you could take this stuff and incorporate it into these bigger, make a bigger picture. It all goes back to what we talked about in uh, episode four. You know, just the content in the games is right. just dropping off. Like mm -hmm. it, it hit some sort of ledge. And... That was episode four, New Hope, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was Xbox a New Hope. Hope. It was so... a PlayStation New Hope because we thought Xbox just dropped. But yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Keep going. And now this is episode six, uh, The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> but That's funny. But, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just full circle again, mm -hmm. you know, completing the circuit. Um, See, it works. Yeah. It's good See, branding. Ding. I told you. But, um, you know, it's just, it's, it, I want to know, like, when, when content started tapering off and graphics and remastering things really started taking off. Because, and, and, and I think I even posed this question in the, uh, the Xbox podcast, like, when do you get to a point where graphics don't matter anymore and you have to go back to content? Like eventually you're going to improve it to the point where, you know, it's a, Hey, it's real. It's like looking in a mirror. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you do then? I mean, he is right. You can't make it look realer than real. Right. And if you do, then it won't look real. So it's well, purpose. Like Far Cry he... six and uh, cyberpunk are getting there in my opinion, like and with cyberpunk... all that mocap right now, but there's, there's more than just CD project red, who is relatively a small development studio compared to EA and Activision. Right. But they're able to put, put out games like the Witcher three, which was a worldwide success. It sold 60 million copies, which isn't a lot compared to maybe a call of duty, but for them, that's a lot of, just in general, yeah. that's a lot of sales. That game has like 200 hours of content. I have 560 hours of that on my, remember Kyle? <laughs> I literally sat an entire weekend. I, Kyle left for the week. He came back. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Hey Dom, what are you doing this weekend? I played Witcher. Playing the Witcher. It was, it was, <laughs> it was phenomenal. That's why I'm so excited about the cyberpunk thing. Now, if all these studios do that, even the, the, you know, stop with the yearly releases, stop with this stuff every single year, just, just drop these big old games like this or, or not every year. I think well, that's the problem. Yeah. It's it's we're trying to hit an annual deadline. Well, why isn't it have like why can't it be you know every two years, every three years, like Rockstars, uh, you know Grand Theft Auto, like yeah, that's expansions. It's yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Like you know, wait some time between doing these games. Like you don't have to come out with one every year. It's a business thing, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, but you're still uh, like you back. can find other ways in your game. Like like look at Call of Duty every november 7th november 11th what is it now playstation's coming out early because they paid for whatever it was mm. to, to have it released earlier but um every november there's a new call of duty game yep but look at how many people are playing ghosts look how many people are still playing the old call of duty still because they prefer those because they, you know they the didn't doing anything yeah how many people are still playing modern warfare 2 oh absolutely <laughs> well, modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 yeah. the original modern warfare i mean I thought, what was the last one? That World War One. Uh, was it? It was before there Black Ops. Uh, World there World was Warfare? Infinite, the space one. I don't know. I lost it. Yeah, it was plot. Advanced Warfare, I Infinite Warfare, and then after that, they came back with like a World War Two. They did. That's when Battlefield was trying to bring it back to World War Two. They were trying to. Battlefield did, and then Call of Duty came yeah, right yeah, afterwards. Yeah. But it's like, 
you know, and, and I remember watching the video for the release on that. And, you know, they were really proud. We sent all of our developers to Germany to, to get the feel for oh, all yeah. of this, you know, and then yeah, it was like, yeah. and, and we put all this, this time into we talk to a bunch of Marines. Yeah. Like we put it, we, you know, we put all this time in graphics to make it feel like you're there. Like I honestly, I, cool. <laughs> you know, like it's that I, parsley I that he grew for six months and uh, on on the back of a yak or something. Yeah, like I, I mean, hey, why don't instead of sending you know your whole team over there for six months, maybe send them there for like three months or show them a video. You know, keep them <laughs> keep them in Conus and have them work on developing that game. It's probably cheaper too. But but you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. put that time and money into like your your development of the game. You know, you yeah. know, I mean, because because that's the other thing too. Call of Duty comes out, you're down, you you can't even play it for the first day because. There's patch after patch after right. patch after mm-hmm. patch. That's what I talk about but, in my but PlayStation they were, review. But they were in Germany for six months trying to figure out what you know <laughs> like, it looked like 60 well, years ago. So and, I mean, and I know you got to think how. But I just have I have an interesting question for you guys. Do you think that the YouTube phenomenon and getting trailers up and making them look as visually appealing as possible has anything to do with this? Because back in the day when you couldn't even look up cheat codes, let alone trailers, like I didn't even know games were coming out. I would go to the store with my mom and be like, I see the poster. They'll make great threes out. Yeah, or, right. or I just so happen to see a commercial. Or you know what I'm saying? Like, and then, but I never knew. Now you could follow games development from day one. And is now do you think, do you think if I don't know? I, I think you guys know yeah, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're right. I still go to the store and be like, is there anything new and that I'm surprised by? But no, because I already know all everything because, as you say, the ads are coming at us constantly. Mm-hmm. Either YouTube channels or Facebook channels or just Hearing it from word of mouth. Bezos. Bezos. Well, the, the other thing, too, is like they come out with these trailers for these games, which are very, very much, you know, just a movie. It's not the gameplay. And I feel like they try to make the gameplay match the graphics in the movie. And it never comes out that way. Division. Oh, no. You know, Watch Dogs. Um, Perfect example it, of that. Call of Duty. I mean, yeah. you, you play the campaign. There's all the videos in, 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 you know, in the campaign. And then you snap in and it's like, oh, OK, yeah, it, it's close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't want it to be as as no. know, realistic. Make it fun. When the Assassin's Creed trailer launched, it don't the, say that. Sky <laughs> Skyfall was that another? No, that's no, not. Skyfall's James Bond. Yes, hold on. What was the one? Uh, Infinite Sky? No, the one. Skyrim. Nope, nope, nope. It's a game where you're uh, a pilot and you can go to different planets and they're always uh, oh, procedurally generated. New Man Sky. New Man Sky. Yeah. New Man Sky. Yes, yeah, so the graphics were were phenomenal with that, but the concept was cool. But again, it was an indie game and they were under budget and it came out not fulfilling the promises that, mm-hmm. so that you have that problem too where these indie guys are trying to take on too much and they're trying to do it for the sake of the art to make something awesome and they don't have the money to complete it and then it comes out and it's crappy but then you have the Assassin's Creed thing came out in 2007 when I saw the trailer and all I could think about was he's walking on walls and, and killing people with and that's what the game was and the graphics didn't yeah. match what that trailer was but I knew what the gameplay was so even though it was a CG yeah. trailer I just knew what I was getting into and now, now it's like but instead you're watering grass mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, look at the what was that game in? <laughs> what was the game in the Xbox showcase? The one that I kept calling The Walking Dead. Oh, uh, uh, State of Decay. State yeah. of Decay Three. So, I mean, that was all video. <laughs> there was no. I don't think there was any gameplay on that. No, there wasn't. But so, you can't even tell what it's about. It's just a rotted deer, and you're a chick in the woods yeah. with a rifle, and you're polishing it, and then you scream at a wolf, and then you sh- and then you see a, a deer eating. I a wolf. will say that the new Assassin's Creed, uh, Valhalla. Valhalla. Yeah, that looks great. I'm excited Why? for that one because you're a freaking Viking. Okay. Number one, you could you could make that exact same statement about the last one where you're like in the Civil War, or American Revolution. That was three. One was. That was three. Before that, you were a British. Pirate? You were British twins, and then before that, you were a Frenchman, and then before I, that, you were a pirate, and then what? at one point you were an Asian, and then at another point, and then you were a half Indian, half the Persian one, right? Was that the one with the horses? That was, that was the one. one. <laughs> that was the first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, this new one looks. The new one looks really good. Um, I'm excited for it. I I don't think it's gonna be much horse riding, honestly. Vikings didn't have horses. They had boats. They had boats. So there might boats. be a lot of boat riding. <laughs> a lot of boats. You know, I want to get back in because I loved Assassin's Creed one, two, and three. A lot of people didn't like three, but I liked three. It maintained that. They just added trees. It was the same game. But <laughs> and you could now walk you can on climb trees. trees. But you know what? It was like, it was fun. And then they started getting into like extra stuff. Unity was the last one that I was really, truly happy with. The, the one in Egypt is actually good too. I just got to read a book. And uh, <laughs> see what Assassin's Creed Origins. 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 There was the Egyptian yeah. one. I do like that one as well. I think that's good. It's a different, it's a different take. Yeah. Um, but I think it, they did a great job with that game. And I think you would like it too. 
Um, but this new, the new one is definitely something I'm gonna be playing. Absolutely. Well, there you go. As long as it has stealth, and that was the thing I think when I saw Origins the trailer for that I wasn't excited about because it's like you do damage. Like here's 14 damage, here's six damage. Like no, no. Where's the part where I stealthily walk up and stab the guy in the gut, and then sit on a bench? God, did you say stealth? And all, all I can think of is Splinter Cell. Do you remember that with oh. Sam something? It wasn't any Sam Splinter Fisher. Cells in this. Sam yeah, Fisher. Sam Fisher, and they'd have that one level. Where you had to be I didn't stealth play like I blacked out during Splinter Cell. I'm just kidding. I never uh, played it. Uh, so it was <laughs> like, that, like that. Splinter Cell was something else, man. Yeah, it was great. Like there was there was ten levels that were were awesome, and I'd get through them. And then there's that one where you have to be quiet, and you can't let anybody see you. And I never got past that level. Is Splinter Cell the one where people were getting mad because the you get the, the, the three goggle eyes? Right. Yeah. No, where I know the hang game. upside down, and, and he's like, "I alone have the fifth freedom." The right to kill, the right to spy, or whatever it was. I remember the commercial, but I remember people getting mad at that one because the stealth, the enemies were all random. So, like, your stealth had to be <laughs> truly stealthy. You couldn't just yes. prepare for what you knew that you this mean guy it was, was a hard game? Was, <laughs> I just remember because I, I used to play Hitman, right? And Hitman 2, <laughs> you would, all the paths were pre calculated. So, you just eventually, you know, you get caught, you get killed, and you run, you run through it again. But Splinter Cell didn't play by those rules. It was, you know, you have to do a perfect, the, otherwise. You have to do it perfect again, yeah. <laughs> so, I I was not flawless in that game, so oh, I'm a run and gun guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my, but my was, yeah. psychopath on those. That's why I need a Rambo game in my life, or uh, NFL Blitz. That yes. too. Did Just you play? Did those. you play Blitz, Kyle? Did you ever play NFL Blitz? NFL, no, was I haven't played any of the football games. It was on N64 back in the nineties. Come nope. on. Come on. Was it no? Not even N64. That was like an arcade game. Yeah, that what? started off as an arcade. Oh like, yeah, they joystick, but three buttons. They put it on the N64. Well, it was yeah. also on PlayStation. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, I played it on 64. I don't care. I just remember it was third mm-hmm. down, and I still got to tackle the guy after the clock stopped. <laughs> Absolutely. Were and you the one where you had like four pixels just running along? No, that was. Uh, <laughs> just like, I was that's joking. Te- that's Tech Mobile. Yeah, Tech yeah. Mobile. That's Tech Mobile. Where you could be. Uh, I'm the Raiders. Jackson. Jackson. Yep. Yeah, and they 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 programmed him. They made him too fast. Or what's that one basketball? <laughs> Four to three. Yeah. Oh, we just looked that one yeah. up. Uh, it was called uh, not timeout. It was hot shot or whatever it was. I, I can't remember what it was called. Family Guy did. It. Remember, <laughs> Cleveland and Cleveland and Peter were playing uh, like old school. No, yeah. well, that one wasn't in the state of play. Double so. dribble, double dribble. That's what it was called. No, it wasn't. But you, but it's funny because <laughs> and we were talking about this on the Xbox one with bugs and how they create like a, a life blood of a game. I mean, I can, I'm yeah. sure I can say this to you, and then I'm probably not going to... You and Sam are going to talk for the next hour. The Halo 2 bugs. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Okay, that's all. Okay, that that was <laughs> that was a lot shorter than I was expecting. Oh, that was, that was, <laughs> did that, did I mean, that not yeah. bring you joy? No, because absolutely. you had no choice. Yeah, of course. You, you had to deal with them. The yeah. amount of times I tried, uh, like, I died doing the super jump. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's like uh, Mo- Modern Warfare 2. Like, there was one map, you're on top of a, a building. I forgot what it was. It was like high rise or whatnot. Mm-hmm. And you had to run off the map, jump onto the scaffolding that fell down, and you'd run up the scaffolding. Yeah. Oh, run I across like the that. front of the building and then run up on top of the building. Yes. And then if you're real smart, you'd be up there with a sniper and throw a tactical insertion down. So even if they got you, like, <laughs> guess what? Still I'm here. back. Yeah. And then throw another that's tactical right. insertion. That's right. I love that. Oh, map. you trolled like crazy. And and I feel like. I love just knifing on that map. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I you have had you. nothing but problems with that mm-hmm. microphone. <laughs> but, but, Where did this microphone come from? You know, it is. As much as like that sucked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I say sucked in like the, the best possible way because, well, it was frustrating because if you weren't the first one that got up there or you tried going up there 20 times and the guy was still waiting yeah. for you to go and try for like the 21st time <laughs> and you gave him a tactical nuke just by your stupidity, it it kind of made it fun. Like these games aren't supposed to be fair. Like you can't take all the camping spots away to make, you know, right. and, and I think that's what they did. They changed the dynamic. They tried making it like I, I forgot what Call of Duty came out and they were saying, oh, there's no camping spots. Like you can't camp. Everything's yeah. in the open. It's There's like, two oh, ways to okay, get into cool. any. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what? Well, it had to be that's... the clambering one, right? Um, I think it was like uh, um, uh, uh, ghosts that ghosts? that did it. I think it was ghosts that really started to do it. Um, but I still think that there was camping spots in ghosts. But I remember it, it, there was no one spot that you could you could sit and feel there, safe. Yeah, exactly. You, you were constantly on edge, and, and you know, it, I think it was as you were talking about the Halo Two thing with uh, wherever you had to go up really high into the sky i never played halo 2 um but it was one of those scenarios where and i I know there was games like this when i was younger but once you got to that spot 
and you were the one that was there and you were doing all the like it was oh, the greatest yeah. moment yeah. of yeah. your life you talked so much shit. it you was like so hard you were king for those few minutes until somebody who was like wait played the game way too much knew how to deal with you yeah, and just right, took yeah. you out <laughs> you got like three kills or you get oh, up no, the helicopter <laughs> yeah you get up there and as soon as you get up there you lay down ready to take a shot just assassin or yeah. whatever it was you get stabbed in the back I, I i miss those days now between patches and trailers there's no surprises everything's out in the open and it's just like mm -hmm. oh, they're trying to make the playing field fair but yeah fair unless you pay money to get to that next level right you, you can know, pay money exactly you it, can pay money to close the skill gap yeah so it's it, uh, frustrating it, it, you know what I, I maybe one day and i know that dark souls attempted to create that that 90s world and it was very successful people loved the dark souls series yeah um because it was hard like and right. it was balanced in the sense that you knew what to expect when you did things and if you died it was because you screwed up not because the game did anything cheap not because there was some assistance that went off it was just you and the game and i feel like a long time ago that's what games were like i feel like joey has mentioned that with like older sports games it was you and the game like like driving a car there are those who prefer just a nice manual car, not a lot of assists because it's you in the vehicle. And then there's, you hear these professional, professional drivers go, I don't like this because there's just, there's too many assists. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe we need to, maybe they need to start going back into that type of, that type of world. But yeah. So votes for state of play PlayStation this today. Mm. I'm going thumbs down. I'm about halfway. That was horrible. I'm out. It sucked. <laughs> it sucked. Well, I wish this was a more positive episode because we have all four of us. But you know what? I think I think we got a lot of stuff out. And I think as time goes on, I have a feeling at some point they're not going to let us down. I think maybe they're just holding. I'm, I'm, I guess what I'm doing is I'm hoping that they're just holding their cards. And then when it's right, you know, it's time to reveal the hand on the river, mm -hmm. that it's going to be the thing. Surprise, PlayStation 5, $140. So, we will see <laughs> how it goes. Um, but this has been fun, guys. I know it's been kind of all over the place, but you know what? We'll get sharper with time. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed listening. Um, next week, what? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's impossible to edit. Say, uh, I will talk about that in next week's episode. But what? Uh, what anything interesting coming up? Or should we, should we come up with a topic now? Sam, pick the topic. Joy, you pick the topic. I want you to pick the topic. You got nothing? I'm putting you on the spot. I know I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing that you said I shouldn't do. I'm making you uncomfortable. We need to talk about your dictatorship. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mother's made a name. Go. Yeah, I know. I feel like, <laughs> feel like Fid Go. Fidel Castro over here. All right. I'll tell you what. You know, we'll, 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 we'll surprise him. We'll surprise Ooh, the audience. For yeah. Them. Hopefully we'll do a better job than the state of the play. State of decay. <laughs> state of. Uh, That's funny. Uh, I like that. That may be the episode name. State of Decay. State, State of decay. decay. I like that. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we will see you next week for some kind of surprise topic. And as always, talk to you later. Take care.